not swords. Can I sell you some stuff? Show me what you have in stock. Okay, first of all, uh, dismantle the the shell. Ooh, you get a black pearl from it. Okay. Is that worth more? The black pearl. Oh, it's worth 130 crowns. Is it worth 130 if I sell it though? I can't sell it to you because you won't take it. <laughs> Where is it even? Here. Oh, 114. Oh, wow, not bad. Hmm. If I can find who I sold my seashells to later on, maybe I should buy it back just to dismantle it. Oh. Repair? Mm -hmm. And could you buy all the crap I have? These relic swords, I think we're okay. We've seen a lot of them. All these... holy crap. Thank god this guy has a lot of money. Okay, we're good. We haven't even used these repair kits for so long because we don't really... we don't really need to anymore. Hmm. It's good. Good, good, good. Assassin's boots. Oh, we got two pairs! I guess we can sell one. Oh, sell that as well. Bellhaven Brigade. Yeah, shh. These are relics, but I don't even know what to use them for. Reaver's boots. Cavalry trousers. Okay. Alright, you know what? I just remembered this, but uh, let's try going to the House of Respite. Can we do that? I have to visit the stash first. So long. The stash should be... It's at the Rosemary and Thyme. Rosemary and Thyme, so back here. I'm gonna go here, pick up some Nilfgaardian clothing, and then go back to the House of Respite. And then when we come back here, we can go to the Vizima Castle for the Gwent person, we can go to Midcops for the other Gwent person, and finish it all up. How does that sound? Okay, where is my Nilfgaardian clothing? This set? Elegant Courtier's Doublet? The shoes? Elegant Nilfgaardian shoes. That's Nilfgaardian, right? Pants? Nilfgaardian trousers? Are we good here? If I just wear that? I'll, cha I'll change once we get there, just in case if we get attacked on the way or something. Mm -hmm. So now we gotta... Um, we gotta find the nearest fast travel thingy, which should be right here. Gate of the High Ark. Okay. Right outside. No bread, no coin. Pardon so shite. bored I could spew. Well, you know, Novigrad is a city of opportunities. Take advantage of it. Even if you're poor, you can you can change your destiny here. Okay, okay. This is gonna be a far travel. So we might Yeah, the time of day might really, really change. House of Respite. Humans don't trust non humans. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh whoa. They're right here. Maybe hide in a bush or something? Just hide behind a tree while we change. Don't look so conspicuous. Are we okay like this? Eh, I'm still wearing two swords. Oh my, it does One work. False move and you will regret it. Didn't somebody... Yes. I thought I had to talk to somebody first, but maybe not. Uh -huh. A deserter from the Skoya tank. Oh. What happens if I change in here? Guess works. I don't know, I'm just looking around. Oh. Nice Ted up to. I have a head full of white hair and no one's really questioning me. Ooh, ooh. I mean it's all crap, but it's crap we can sell later on. Is there anything cool going on in here? I'm part of an exclusive club now, right? <laughs> oh wow. Quills mightier than the sword, oh yes. Oh, courtesan. It's like a fancy clubhouse. Squares. Okay. Wait, you're an innkeeper, but you're not serving me? Here. Oh, <gasps> I'm really sorry. Everyone's speaking the guardian in here. Oh, 
Oh my god! If we cross the Yara, we will cross the Ponta as well. Oh, it's like a male prostitute. Oh, that's the first time we've seen this in all of Temeria so far. Yeah, wow, the Nilfgaardians are truly more culture than us. It's true. Sort of. Why, you don't serve customers? Here. <laughs> Wait, there's actually nothing going on Next, in here. Ted there's a fish tech kitchen in far corners. Whole sun's behind it. But that's Boulder Dash. <coughs> Horson. So Horson Jr. works in gambling and the Fistech. From the Sky at ten. Hey, he's looking my way now. He's trying to show the the woman the butt. His butt. <laughs> That's it. I can't go in here. Oh, I thought there was some great secret in here. Fancy a hop back to my place. Mm. Oh. You know, we've seen ah. um Rosemary and Time is supposed to be a brothel, but we haven't seen an actual brothel yet. Nobody has offered me their services so far. Not at all. Oh. Yeah, full regimental dress mandatory. Oh, well we got in here, but there's nothing. Maybe later on we'll have to come back here. I don't know. Well, in that case, when I go back to... Why did we have this marked again? Was that where... Oh, someone's too high level for me, right? And then this one is where we got like a strange smell or something, but I didn't really know what it was. Mid-Cops. Mid-Cops is here. Let's come over here. Alright, the last Velen player. This is how we buff up our deck, right? We gotta find people who are gonna give us unique cards. man went to see the witch again. Gwent, Velen players. Hattie of Mid-Cops. And you shan't steal no youngins. Oh, sorry. Hattie. Hattie? Wait. Hattie, oh! Whoa, it's a kid! You play Gwent? They say Hattie's dim, but that just ain't true. Hattie don't know how to plow or sew, nor catch no fishes. But he sure can play cards. So I. Hattie plays Gwent. No, I'm even more scared. It must be like a prodigy or something. A Gwent savant. So let's play. Okay, we got Vesemir. We can put Vesemir in here and probably take away... Take away Sheila? Well, Vesemir is a close combat, so maybe I'll take away someone who's close combat. Siegfried? Sure. Okay. Alright. We're good. Northern Realms. Decoy, Fighting Frost, close combat. We don't need that probably. Range, Impenetrable Fog, Range Combat, Spy, Zoltan, Spy, Krinfred, Krinfred, Ballista, Yennefer. I want more numbers. Let's take away Impenetrable Fog. Yeah, we're not gonna need it because we have Krinfred. So we don't need a ranged thingy here. Death Mold, okay. Uh, Biting Frost, do we even need that? We don't have very many siege cards this time. I guess it's okay. What do we get? Catapult? Okay. Poor fucking inventory. Oh, Hattie. Are you really gonna be okay? Am I judging a book by its cover too quickly? Decoy? Blue stripes. Okay. Stennis. Did I get a medic? And Kira? Ooh, they're looking really good here. I think I should just give up. Yeah, because they're looking so good already. There's no point in me trying to do anything. Easy win for you, Hattie. First round. Just you wait. The fact that he didn't decoy any of the spies Maybe that means he doesn't have any decoy cards. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? That is so strange. That's really strange. Um, I guess blue stripes? My lowest card? We might want to keep it later on, but yeah, it's okay. We can get it back from the graveyard. 
Wait, this is actually so bad because we don't even have enough grave cards or cards in the graveyard to make use of our two medics. He's betting everything on the last round for whatever reason. <laughs> Silly fella. Maybe this is some ultimate Gwent prodigy strategy that I'm not... Whoa, Vernon Roach! Vernon! A patriot and a real son of a bitch. Oh, where is Vernon Roach? Where is Anais? Where is Jonathalus? All those people. Yorveth. Yeah, apparently Yorveth is not really in this game. That's a little surprising, but... I guess he's busy doing his square tall things. Impenetrable fog. Not a big deal. What's this one again? Was that your leader ability? Yeah, okay. Let's put everything down. What? Hattie sucks, man. Hattie's cards are like... Am I speaking too soon here? Because it really does feel like he's not doing too good. What are you doing? Oh, he used... He had an actual card, and now he used his leader ability. <laughs> Catapult? Mm hmm. I got a catapult too. I don't even have any time to use my decoy cards. This was such a quick round. Whoa, that's looking a little scary. Two catapult cards by themselves makes 32. That's amazing. We gotta buy more of these catapult cards somewhere if we can. Look, we can't even use our other medic's abilities. That's so sad. Okay. Crinfred? Are we gonna be okay? Once we put down the commander's horn, I think we'll be okay. And clear weather. Yeah. Oh, Hattie. You've got nothing on that bookshop guy. That guy was insane. Yeah. Yay! What are you gonna give me? <laughs> I really think it's so silly that he's just abandoned the second round. Addy done last. It happens. Take your prize. Thank you. You're a gracious loser. What'd you give me? Bird and Roach! These are the hero cards. Oh! Aridin! Oh, he gave me two! Two cards! Nice, nice. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And our business in Midcops has concluded, I think. Where is the... Right here. Okay. Well, I guess we're back to the trail on hunting... Hunting women down in Novigrad. We'll visit the Vizima castle some other time. Yeah, I don't want to play 20 Gwent matches in a row. Let's get back to the High Arc Square. That's the closest point we have. While we're here, though, I do want to go back to one specific armorer. If I can find him. Mm. Looking to enlist with the Temple Guard. I wonder if I can. Because, um, I was told that I accidentally sold my... Witcher sword to one of the armorers around here, and uh, I, I really would like to keep it if I can, even if it costs me money, so I want to see if he still has it. Armorer. Armorer doesn't show up here. Dang it! I know he's around here somewhere, though. He should be. Uh... Armorer? There's only one here? We can't... It's not showing up on the map. It's not. Well, I mean... Hold up. We can go back um, to this one here. And try to look for the armor at the same time. <laughs> I know he's that around High Art well. Square. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Another drifter in from Tamaria. What did I do? Why are you all so scared? Did I push somebody? <coughs> Sorry. Oh! Oh, okay. 
Poor son's henchman. Should I go deal with that? Why is he attacking me? I told you, you're boss. Wah! It's... Oh, wait, there's more dead people here. Spare a copper or two. Slap a new race, teach. You're a bigger rag picker than me. The guards already dealt with it. Eternal fire. Father you are brutal. Of all, hear my prayer. But your heart knows not the true fire. Bring my husband back to health. Are these all horse and juniors? You know what it is, white haired one. Right, just eternal oh. fire. You are my only hope. <laughs> The guards well, already dealt I with it. I didn't really have to do anything. So, how'd you go with this healer? I was faffing about minding my own business when suddenly happy pops Let's and heals me. Let's go kill some monsters. Had a case of leprosy one minute. Next thing I know, I'm bankrupt with no means to earn me livelihood. Bad luck, like that. They eat horse cars. Let's go wow. kill some monsters. People talking about how they became poor. Eh, there's a lot of gambling and like I don't know. Novigrad is not really. Is it prosperous? It's a place of opportunities, but people probably make a lot of poor financial decisions around here too. Oh, you can all go. Okay, we were gonna go find Rose of our Atra. Whoever we run into first. Doesn't really matter here. Um are we going the right way? First they killed my son. Hey. Now they'll throw us out into the street. Why do you give your food to that beggar? Right here. He Rosa Varadra. Up here. And there's a notice board here. This morning, my Greta came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happening in some house. Oh, mysterious murders. A word from the Armorer's Guild. No, I think we've seen this one before. Yup. Reminder, most honorable townspeople, please remember to warn any passers-by who might be found. Yes, we've seen this one, too. Portrait artist wanted. I am in need of a portrait artist to paint the likeness of my beloved daughter. This portrait is needed in order to finalize a betrothal contract in which she is to enter with a young man from Kovir. Note the canvas should be ornamented without an exaggerated emphasis on realism, concentrating instead on bringing out my darling's character. Tss, of course. Beware of thief! Sunday, last, someone broke into the merchant Jin Longobardi's cellar, taking out of it a barrel of triple meat. Around the time of the break-in, witnesses saw a thin, bald man rolling a barrel down the street and giggling to himself. The thief was also noticed to be singing a rude song in which he called himself Odrin. What?! If anyone knows the perpetrator's current whereabouts, they are asked to contact the injured party immediately. Odrin is a Novigrad? Personal announcement. Widower, 60 years of age, of medium height, above average intellect, possessing a fortune in both species and real estate. Wow. Seeking, seeks old maid, or childless widow of a similar age or somewhat older, preferably from a landed family. Those interested are requested to send a missive with a faithful engraving of their likeness included to post restant Gildor. C.O. Romantic. P.S. No response will be given to letters without a full name and valid return address. PPS. Women of the elder races, halflings in particular, need not inquire. Festival of Nilfgaardian culture cancelled. Again. Varatra. That's whose daughter we're going to be visiting now, right? Why? You would have like Wait, there's a barber here. Just you know. realized. Before we see Varatra, can we visit the barber? Uh, hey. Hmm. Hello. Greetings to the honorable gentleman. Razors, scissors, knives, ground to sharpness mere moments ago. Need a trim. Think you can manage? Do we want to shave the beard? It's okay. The beard is all right. But, um, what did we try last time? The first one? The first one is the default one, right? And I guess we tried this one. Loose, not too long. <laughs> long and loose. Loose, not too long. I don't know. Loose, not too long.
Whoa. Wait, do I even have a ponytail anymore? I feel like I need a ponytail. Oh, this is strange. <laughs> this is strange. Shaved except for a ponytail. Yeah. Shaved on the sides, short on top, and a ponytail, maybe? I need a preview picture, man. You can't just cut my hair like this. Whoa! Uh, maybe we... <laughs> well, I'm not feeling any of these haircuts at all. Oh my god, that like... Geralt looks like... I don't know, how do you, how do, you do fellow kids in this haircut? <laughs> the elven rebel cut? Is that just sort of long and loose, like in The Witcher 1? Dang, man. I don't like any of these. We might have to go back to the... the original one. Your hairstyles, man. Not... hmm... Yeah, let's just go back to the one we had then. Oh my god. Long and loose... no. Basically, we just spent like 40 crowns on nothing here. Yeah, I'm used to seeing this one now. Uh, styling my beard. A full beard trimmed short. Okay. Funny how we can get like a full beard again, even if we get clean shaven. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit shorter than before. That's good. So long. Didn't really get a haircut. Wasted a lot of money here just now. Oh my. Who's saying oh my? <laughs> Hello? Hello, ladies? How do I look? How do you like how I look? Uh, I must see a medic. <laughs> because I'm too ugly? <laughs> Is that it? Dang, man. Ouch. Okay. Rosa Var Atra. Lavalette guard. Oh yeah, one of the people is Lavalette's maid, right? This baronet's Lavalette's villa. Shouldn't interest you. The baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Yeah, I thought so. Molly was the, the maid. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Oh. Uh, which guy were you again? It's been a while. Were you the guy who interrogated me as I was being shaved? I think so. Not the Gwent guy. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emery's? No, you'd be long dead if that were so. It seems then that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Okay, the races? Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then. She's very kind to me. Even though I don't really remember her all that well. Have we spoken to her before? Vegelbud's estate. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. 
The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Cahir? Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. <laughs> know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the Bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Oh. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come <laughs> here to see Molly after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. It's fine. We'll just enjoy ourselves. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Do I really care about that? Okay, fine. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Cantarella, Nemrod, Chestnut, Thunderbolt, or uh, Thunderbolt, Zeracanian Bay. Does it really matter? Uh, Thunderbolt sounds fast. Radovid's encamped nearby. Redanian Chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Okay. Riders ready. Move Come it. On, Let's well, see what you're made of. Freak. Uh, you think Get here. Guys? Well, we're doing pretty good. We have a well-defined track this time, so I shouldn't be getting off track. We just have to watch the stamina a little bit. But there's not really a strategy to this, right? Use the stamina as soon as we can, so that it comes back faster. That's pretty much it. Now we're out. I adore the speed, the rush of air! Oh! Wheat fields. Come on, Witcher! Let's see what you're made of! Good thing he couldn't pass us, even though we had no stamina. Is it supposed to be like that? Or maybe the the road is a little bit too narrow for him to pass us? I adore the speed! The what a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Thank you. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, m'lady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. How far away are we from Novigrad uh, right now? That's as much as life. Whoa! Oh, that's one of those... It was one of those places I never visited yet. Oh, wow. It's like someone else's castle. Huh. Okay. Well, we're talking to Molly. Yes. Hello, miss? I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Don't come on. Be a bro. Mm-hmm. 
Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Kairin by playing his lute. <laughs> I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. What? Uh, do I want to blow his cover? Maybe, maybe I'll try to not? Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. And he'd sing me arias. But well, I've not seen him since. She seems like a nice girl. I don't wanna... Oh, we have to. Okay. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. <laughs> Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? Oh, no. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Oh, do we know this person? A blonde lady who's like a sister to Dandelion? In the books, there was Essie Davin, who I'm pretty sure was blonde, but her defining feature was that she had bright blue eyes. And she was one of the few women that Dandelion never tried to get with because he saw her like a little sister. She also had a thing with Geralt, but um, yeah, she died of smallpox later on. Whether that later on is after the game or before the game, I don't remember. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. And I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. That's wonderful! Thanks! And good luck to you on your search. Etchings? Like, uh... Oh, there's still more. Hey, level 14. We should do that right away. What do we got here? Etchings, like, what he writes? One point. I don't think we need any more in Delusion for now. No. But we also don't have any new slots available yet. We get one at 15. Hmm. Fire stream? We haven't been using it too much. What else do we got here anyway? In terms of combat, precise blows. We don't have any room for it though, so I just feel like, eh. Strong attack, even strong attack is not something I use very often. But you know what, I'll just do it. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I had the wrong thing highlighted. Frick. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? That's okay, too. Whatever. Not a big deal. Yeah, I had my mouse on this thing, but the actual highlight was on this thing. Whoops. Not a big deal. Yeah? Nothing else? I guess we go back now. Oh, interesting little race segment here. Ah, uh, youth these days. Airbrained, all of them. Yes, yes, we're all harebrained. We want to go talk to... Oh, this is so unsightly. But it's the easiest way to climb back. How are you supposed to get here normally anyway? From the back? Oh, do we want to look around this castle a little bit more? Because it seems like it's so big and there's so many things to look at here. Maybe some other time. There's no... Oh, wheat fields. We have a wheat fields that we can fast travel back to. For now, though, I guess we'll just leave. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Yeah. Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. 
I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. It's night time. Our whole day looking for dandelion was spent having fun instead. That's okay. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. Hmm. Oh, you're still here. I just realized that I should probably put on my regular clothing, just in case if we run into fights again. Yeah, we wouldn't want to fight in the, the Nilf Guardian stuff, would we? Ah, Geralt! What can I do for you? You play Gwent? <laughs> no, you're not the Gwent guy, are you? You're someone else. Big changes afoot in the Empire. You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an Empress needs an Emperor at her side. My father will ensure the... Right man is chosen. You? Farewell. Hmm. Could we ever talk to the lady again? So? No, not really. The Baroness. Hmm. She was really friendly towards me. I'm not sure why. Maybe because we didn't kill Aryan? Hello? Don't be shy now. Looking doesn't cost a thing. There's plenty to behold. This here is a collection of wonders that belong to the Mage Eremas. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How do you get a hold of these? Never heard of a mage willingly parting with his treasures? No one asked Eremas his will. He was burned at the stake a fortnight ago. Strange they didn't burn his stuff with him. Witch hunters let you resell it just like that? Why wouldn't they? These are common goods, some valuable only as collectibles, perhaps. But why would they let you benefit off of it? All right, I get it. These items aren't actually common. Rumor has it, each is an enchanted key. Rumor happened to mention where to find the locks these keys open? Sadly, no. What if I knew you could hardly expect me to sell them? Where did Aramas live? Had a lovely residence south of Oxenford. Badly damaged now, as he made the hunters pay dearly for his skin. Show me what you have. Hmm, maybe we can go look for it ourselves. Lizard figurine. Jade figurine. Old wine from Tucson. The curious cases of virtuous Vega... Vega. Some voodoo dolls and stuff. Skulls! Appetizing. Horse Whistler. How to avoid colossal vessels. Okay, well, this is all we need right now, so that's all I'm gonna get. Potion of Clearance. Oh, we can get another one off this guy. Oh. Oh, by the way, I should probably wear the saddle that I got earlier, right? 50 stamina? Hmm. We haven't even used the one that we got from Kira yet, so I think it's okay. We don't have to worry too much about the points. For now. Thank you. Thank you. Farewell. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Oh. Of Dairy and Darkness. Level 9. Aramis's residence. Ooh, we should go do that. But maybe we'll talk to the ladies first, just to finish that up. We're getting distracted by other people a lot. The saddle? Is it better than what I have? A little bit. A little bit. I'll take it, of course. Thank you. Did you have anything up here? Heck yeah. Thank you for your raspberries. Oh wow, you have a very nice room. 
And a very nice butter knife. That's now mine. <laughs> ah, okay. Thanks. I'll remember you if I need to find you. Even some random person can give me a quest. Some random merchant in the house. Hey, what would happen if I try to go down the well? Does it go somewhere, do you think? Hey, kitties! Ooh, ooh, that makes me sad. It's nighttime again. Rose of our Atra, right here. Did I chase the pansy all the way to the garden? Or did you catch him? No luck. Driving and slippery, the bugger, as quick as a tomcat. Scrambled out the hole in the back wall. It sounds like you might have been an acrobat. Maybe so. Both misses are fond of freaks. Oh yeah, this is the... Um, the Fifty Shades of Grey one, right? <laughs> Can I just go in? What do you want? Sword play instructor. That would make sense. That would make sense. I have a lot of swords behind me, too. Rose of our Atra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in sword play. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. Pretty sure the other two wouldn't have worked. Why well, don't you realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you mind if I just look around your house a little bit? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know? Why do you only have mugs here? Come on, where's the rich people things? Come on, this is all crap. <laughs> I'm just jumping around in people's houses. The horse whistler, yes! Yes! Oh, earlier! Earlier when we went to um, the House of Respite, I was gonna go back to that guy who was blocking the shelf. Remember that guy who didn't let me read the book? Ah, oh, I forgot to go back there. Breaking in a horse's psyche is a simple matter of instilling your will as the rider into your mount, acquiring its trust and training its obedience. Horses are intelligent, noble beasts, so they should be treated with tenderness and a decisive, firm energy. Mayor, the unquestioned authority in this area, emphasizes that when training one's mount, a rider must eternally be on the lookout for errors in the training itself. Every time the taming process ends in failure, the rider must look for the blocking error, first of all, in, the, in his own actions, Secondly, in the horse's anatomy, and only in a last resort by concluding the horse has a naturally difficult temperament. Adhering to this principle protects one from undue punishments, which destroy the possibility of reaching an understanding between the rider and mount and make it impossible to gain the animal's trust. Oh. The Curious Cases of Virtuous Vega Can there be such a thing as a virtuous whore? Vega asked herself this question each and every morning. And each morning swore she would prove to the world that practicing the world's oldest profession does not preclude virtue. This determination augmented not only to her own troubles, but also those of Gaspar de Bruel, her mother's longtime friend, who, as a personal favor, had hired Vega to work in his establishment, the Golden Garter. Poor Gaspar had to listen to the constant complaints of customers who would charge into his office in a huff about Vega's behavior. Yet the girl clung firm to her principles and her ironclad drive to see them through. She would never perform with any lights lit and would avert her gaze with a powerful blush upon catching sight of the male member. Gaspard's greatest headache, however, was the fact that Virtuous Vega never ever accepted any payments for her services. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, a blushing girl, like a shy girl. I feel like that's, that's somebody's thing. Rune right contract. His Imperial Majesty. We should sell the duplicates of the book sometime. Probably the the bookseller is willing to take it. She who knows. Sorry about the wait. Could you wait a little bit more? No. Grab a wooden one and take care not to hurt the little miss. 
Or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. Yeah. Do it yourself. Oh. You fancy men like me? Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. I thought it was this guy saying that. Wooden sword. Follow me. Uh, I already heard where she is. Do I still need to follow you? Do I need to equip the wooden sword? It's not here. Maybe it's a quest item? Yeah, it is. Okay. She's not here, right? You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. You want to call me Christian? And I'll call you Anastasia? <laughs> what about the actual instructor? He's not going to be able to get in. I... Yeah. Wow, hey. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Dude, we're just sparring, Geralt. Do I actually wanna, Stop like... Flaunting and fight. Okay. I don't think she wants me to go easy on her. She's a competent fighter. She likes fighting. She's been training and scared off all her previous instructors. Not good. I win! Oh! Is there not one competent instructor in this entire city? I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Guards aren't up to muster. Let me right in. Just had to tell them I was here to teach you swordplay. I told father they're a band of imbeciles. But if you're not the instructor, then who exactly are you? Have you come to rob? Kill? Speak? Neither. So what do you say we stay calm? She beat me. She actually beat me. That's a little bit embarrassing for a witcher, but she's good. Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship, even so, there was nothing between us. Really? Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Is your sister a twin? Because otherwise, how would she... What was the whole thing about the stallion and the... <laughs> She's not really interested in that, huh? Hey, you asked for a rematch. I'm not gonna hold back. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Come on, come closer. I'm actually not blocking her shots very well at all. She's like a final boss. Stop flaunting and fight! I... Yeah? You missed! 
Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? What? Lost your nerve? Don't beat her up. You don't want her dead. We just wanna, you know, it's a friendly sparring match. Damn it! Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Yeah, no, I like you. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Ah, twins, yeah. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Is that really my place? Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. <laughs> Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? They come from a rich, well-off family after all. Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury's bursting with enough to equip two armies. But it's being, it's being overseen by the Church of the Eternal Fire. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. You know, the Eternal Fire, I wonder if they favor one over the other, Radovid or Emir. Changing subjects. Yeah, back to Dandelion. who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. I feel like every woman is giving us leads to every other woman. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Lessons? Rosa, would you like lessons? I'd love to spar with you again. Oh man. Hey, I really would. 
Really? Hmm, I guess that's not really a thing. That's fine. Hello. Caseswix. Oh, you're immediately speaking Nilf Guardian to me. <laughs> what was that? Caseswix. She's spunky. And you, you're the other sister. Kesen. Hmm. Kesen. Well, nice to meet you both. I really would come back for lessons if if you're really interested in that. But farewell for now. Did this just lead outside? Yeah, it's just a guard here. Hop. Umbles. I don't believe we've seen that herb before. <laughs> We're just gonna go to the pub like this? No. Marabella. Marabella is the person who has a school. For toddlers, right? Ozai. Look at their house. It's so nice and big. Ambassador Varatra. It's rich after all. <laughs> I just escaped the house. Oh, hello. A butler. A butler? What? Who's butler? I'm not sure. Wait, are we still within Varatra's house? No, we're back in the, the main square here. Hmm, just out of curiosity, could we... Oh, it's very... it's very shallow. Marabella? Got my eye on you, white one. Okay. Marabella's here. Back in the bits. Uh, we can't just drop down, can we? My servant caught some rag picker rifling through our rubbish yesterday. Can you believe it? Rabble from Valens come pouring into the city. That is the inevitable result. Why does the temple guard do nothing about it? They should toss them out by their coattails. The guard has other things on its mind. They chase mages now, left us to fend for ourselves. Alas, ah, it's always the decent folk who must struggle. Decent folk struggling, huh? Really? Where the heck are we going now? Can we reach where I- Whoa! Whoa, 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 Oh my god. This is not what I planned on happening today. <laughs> I mean, somehow we've made it down here without getting hurt, but there was something interesting down there. A little cave thingy? Could we go back up? Oh man, I just wanted to go down to the bits, that's all. I don't know if we can go back from here. Where the heck are we? No, we're just kind of outside here now. There's a Gwent thing here. Oh, there's a high-stakes Gwent tournament, which is different from playing Gwent. The big city players. Okay, good to know. I need to get back up. <laughs> How do I get back up? 